Hey, what is going on everybody? This is Tony 2.0 and welcome back to Shadows of Mordor. This is my playthrough of the Monolith game, Shadows of Mordor. We just finished the first mission and we're moving on to the second part of this. Um, looks like there is an artifact over here, so we're going to come and try to pick this thing up. To get these, you have to travel into the Wraith world so that you can see these artifacts. You end up digging these up uh, and then you have to examine them. I'll kind of show you how that goes right here. Um, as you examine these items, there's going to be a little blue spot. You just press X. It starts a little little reading here. This is basically the story of the slaves that are in Mordor being held by the Uruks. So that uh, that's the first part there. Um, let's see what we got here. These men are not. They are not ready to die. I think we have another point here to use. Yep, one point available. Counter enemies will be knocked backwards, stunned, or knocked down. Aerial takedowns, Elven Swiftness. Um, we already have that. Allows us to ride the Karagos. I think we're going to do the counter one here. We'll go ahead and just equip that up. Soldiers, they are not ready to die. All things that live must die. Man alone faces the mystery of what is beyond death. A good sign. So really, the best, like I said, the best way to kind of get all this stuff completed is to just stealth your ass around. Enables you to move a lot quicker. We're going to go ahead and start the Gala mission here. <clears throat> Something of great power has left its mark on him. I sense it. And you feel he has answers. It's got a pretty cool story to it. It's um, it's actually pretty intriguing. Keeps you uh, keeps you pretty well into it. Right now, I'm talking a lot through this because I've already played through this part. When we get into the later stages of the game, I haven't played it. I mean, I was only like five percent in, so this is um. These tracks are not quite oops. human. Uh, beast. This is even more reason to investigate. We're gonna fly through this area of it. Free the slaves, so we're gonna Be do ready. this part. This creature leads us to power. Pick that up. We're gonna end these right quick. I did hit YB, thank you. The executions are pretty slick. Because we see those and play them and use them as much as possible. The chain of man seems to always end in shackles. Can we free this? Oh, we did free him. Okay. Moving on up to the next one. It would appear the creature is an apt climber. Team of slaves finally escaped. What that was like. Their first attempt would have been met with blood. There's a bunch of them up here, so we'll uh, go ahead and go this way. I sense it pick all them more up. of me than I know of myself. How could a rodent possibly know of a wraith? It is somehow connected to me. I feel it. <laughs> Pick this guy off here. And then what we can do here is our executions actually enable us to, to finish those guys off a little bit quicker. As long as you're within your combo, that's uh, pretty much the only requirement for it. Where the fuck is this guy? Where the fuck is he? There he is. The courage of men, indeed. <laughs> Ended up getting the bonus part of our commission complete. Now we can just move along and go find Gollum. Your creature's path is fraught with danger. I am kind of wondering if uh, this game is similar to like, like I was just playing um, Far Cry 4, and uh, you can complete the story without getting 100% in the game. Obviously, Far Cry 4 is a bit different. It's a much larger game. There's much more shit. The road tracks lead us right but, uh, into that category cave. I'm wondering if this is going to be there. similar. It's on the run, motherfucker. Get over here. Precious. Precious. Got 
Got my gold chains. Homies, those is those is people. No, I wish that I didn't. <clears throat> Your family was perhaps that pain is what connects us. Oh, Quick. you did. It is escaping. Like the little skittering spiders and shit. Udo hunters. They must have tracked the categories here. Oh, I missed. This uh, curveball is gonna come here a little hand here. Oh, oh, you got fucked up, kid. Oh, you got so played. Oh, the execution! Too strong. And then we get the execute on the Kiragor. Pretty, pretty well played there. Around here somewhere. Shmi, go get your ass out here. See, that's pretty legit. Getting Andy Circus to come in and do this for the gang was pretty, pretty slick of them. We must have it back. We must have it. Quiet. Quiet, precious. Oh, get smashed. You sneak up on me so easily, eh? Oh, he can see him. Yes, we know his bright master came to us in our dreams. Oh, this motherfucker with the bike. Man, the lighting is so good. Just there, there's so much, so much good stuff about this game. Still have trouble, like even with how good the graphics are in this game. Still have trouble with like single strands of hair and shit looking fake. Uh, even with the movement on this, you know, in, in past generations of games, there wouldn't be movement with with the hair on the head. It was just not possible. Just not enough power in the hardware to uh, to render all that stuff out. Even in the uh, the cutscenes, you know, they would just the little subtleties of, of how good this generation of games is getting is, is really exciting for the uh, for the next point ability point gained gonna go ahead and just restore the little health we lost there so we got another ability point let's go ahead and uh, mm. <clears throat> I think the strike from the above is a good way to go. Get that going. All right. So we go ahead and mark the next area, the next location on our map for us. So we're gonna get head right on over. We'll go ahead and uh, finish this next quest, and then we will go from we will we will call it an episode. These caragors, man, they're crazy. Oh. So as we look here, the little shadow area, what we can do is uh, go into the the wraith thing, the wraith world, and uh, unlock these towers. We can go and reforge them, so we can use them as checkpoints. And so this is again something that I missed uh, the first few uh, you know hours or so that I was playing the game is 
just didn't see that. Also, a unlocked a lot of objectives on the part of the map for us. Of memory. So, um, uh, throw blade. Explode these struggles, piercing weak minds to bring down the enemy force. Uh, beacon of weakness. Um, yeah, let's let's go and do that. If we end up coming across things. Like, I don't know what this is. Whoops. Oh, hi. This looks like just slaves to be free. The animations are pretty legit, man. Thank you, Ranger. Oh, finally, I'm free. So that was just a little mini thing that you can go and get rid of it. This is a that Ethylidin thing, so we'll run over and grab that real quick. Since we are right here. I'm ready for some proper action. Careful or is that just a oh, that's just a lock? Think. Seems weird. Seems weird that that. Oh no 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 no! Sorry. Got another part to the little gate there. It's similar to that that gate that they had to say the code to in Lord of the Rings. Oh, come on, just get down. Some of the little movements like that are a little bit annoying. Gonna just head our way on over to the next little area here. We could have probably fast traveled. I don't. No, actually, I don't think there's anything around that. Uh, oh yeah, we could have just cut the corner right to there. Yeah, yeah. Get out of here, biatch. Luckily, the map seems very expansive, but it plays pretty quickly. You tend to get get around pretty well. Survival challenge. See all that stuff? We're definitely gonna have to come back and do. I I do just kind of wanna. It does look like there's another artifact over here. I do want to get through this, this storyline as fast as possible. Um, I started to play it and I got really intrigued by it, so I really want to just keep uh, keep puffing along. Where did you get off to? I found this, Daddy. What kind of rock? It's very rare. This kind of rock is very rare. It comes from the volcano. There. Now, Doom is a foul place, angry and mean. It will explode when Sauron is near and plotting. Spitting all manner of foulness oh. into the air. Smoke and dust and rocks that burn the ground. It does this as a warning. I will not stay silent for long. So do my grandmother. Don't <laughs> tell your mother I said that. Say this. Ha! <laughs> Throwing a comedy in there. There has been no sign of fire on Mount Doom for generations. I watched Gilgala die on the slopes of Oladruin, burned to death by the heat of Sauron. Another this is slave where the mission. storm will gather that Come will engulf the world quick. of men. These remind me of karma missions. And Thank, Thank you. Please rescue my friends before they're killed. They don't know when to keep quiet. Karma missions in Far Cry 4. Man, if you guys haven't played Far Cry 4, I tell you what, if there's a game that I feel is worth sixty dollars, this one I only paid like forty bucks. Or no, no, I paid like twenty bucks for this game. Um, I paid four, four, forty for. Oh no, no, I got Far Cry 4 for free when I bought my cart, and it is uh, man, hell of a game. Spirit of Mordor, or Sound Rise, or Lightly, you see boost lesser works in their violent struggles for power. Investigate how the power of the wrath, uh, wraith, can exploit. These struggles, piercing weak minds to bring down the enemy. Scary. All right. Ranger, come close if you want the black hand. Oh, slave scum, a pour of poison in your ear. Oh, but you 
cut these ropes. Ratbag will tell you everything. Ratbag, though. Hmm. Now, what would you know that all these other dead orcs did? Go ahead, you bastard! Do it! I'll die, and you'll know nothing! Maybe I'll grant your request in your misery. No, 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 no. I was just a... Look, those <laughs> slaves are no match for the orc army. Their schemes as rotten as barrel fish. Ratbag can teach you the ways of the orc. Ratbag can make your plan work. Ratbag. We're going to find out why you Oh, snap. Oh snap! <laughs> that Vulcan mind melt, son. So this is this is obviously Ratbag, and then in these little things here, this is who they're connected with as far as their commanders. So you learn who their captains are, who their higher ups are, and basically what we try to do is just eliminate through the ranks to build up. So you can also reveal their strengths and weaknesses is vulnerable to mounted beasts can be killed instantly by mounted beast finishes uh, becomes terrified at the sight of Karagor so he'll run away like a little bitch and vulnerable to ranger to ranged heavy attacks uh, and has a group of followers with him alright so we gain our intel here and that picks up our next target <coughs> Problem, Ranger. It's the war chiefs. Strong leaders they are. Now, if something were to happen to them, then they wouldn't be able to stop your little insurrection, would they? I would hunt them down. <laughs> How? They're not very popular around here, and they know it. But you can fight them. Oh, yes. Yeah, let's trust an orc. This is probably gonna probably gonna end well for us. Do not make me regret this tale. Marvelous. <laughs> let's stop faffing about that. Faffing? I need to take care of a certain captain and a few caragors. Come with me, Ranger. Just a big sigh. You can't trust them. So again, this is one of the things that kind of slows the game down. At these least little follow quests. I mean, it does put you into a battle and stuff like that. But it's, it's just something that's like, come on, See, man. You why? Why would we have to do this? Why couldn't we just say, right back, say, Somebody meet me over in this area, and then right you kill all this shit, right? So this Gorov is in charge of this camp, yeah. But well, he's no war chief. They answer directly to the Black Hand. So our mission is going to be to kill the war chiefs. the Black Hand's in a circle. Becoming a captain is just the first step of Ratbag's plan to become a war chief. Then prepare to step hard on his neck. How did you get free, scum? Yeah, block frontal attack to to get over that bad. Get the ranger, not me! He's a much easier target! His soul's broken! Leave the vermin alone! And face me, Gorix! Go ahead and pick up this execution here. Get rid of the most difficult guy, I guess. Oh, we need to save that. We need to save Ratbag. Oh, get off me. There we go. Let's get him off Ratbag. Luckily, these guys fight like the bad guys. They don't, uh... Oh, get fucked up, kid. Well done, Ranger. Now, just picture all these corpses as Gorov. Visualize your goals. Gorov's been out for Ratbag for years. Smug piece of dunger he is. 
We come to blows as far back as Ratback can remember. Still, Ratback never wins. Last time, he kicks Ratback into the Karagor pit. All uh -oh. the others laugh as the Karagor bats Ratback around like a yarn ball. Oh, that Gorov's gonna pay. Smug piece of dung. He'll pay. Gorov keeps Karagors in pens. And rumor has it, he doesn't like to get too close to them. And let me guess, you think I should open those pens? Gorov's always in there. Never leaves, ever. Wonder where he pees. Oh, that explains the smell. Keep out of sight. I'll see that your captain gets demoted. Splendid plan. You kill, I wait. That's military genius, that is. Oh, this dude's in trouble. Search for Gorov without raising the alarm. Hopefully nobody notices that. I think we can sneak back through here. There we go. So here's a green little block. I'm guessing that's where we need to look for him at. I wonder if a new look has ever gone for this looks like a good spot to get some shut eye. Goroth will kill you if he catches you napping. Goroth never comes here. He's oh, always by the hunting camp. Lion, motherfucker. Goroth's in the hunting camp. So much for him always being in the same place. So guys, I think Captain what we are going to end up doing here is calling this episode when we come back the next time. We're going to go Goroth's ahead and work. finish off Goroth. Uh, guys, if you're liking this series, please go ahead and click that like button. Subscribe for me if you're new and we'll be back with another episode very soon.